What's up YouTube? We got asked a question from one of our subscribers and they said what's better the hammer curl or the dumbbell bicep curl? Let's get right into it. So the quick answer without wasting anybody's time, I hate watching YouTube videos in like 10 minutes they just don't get to the point, is there is no better exercise. They're both better for their own specific reason. Um, as far as the bicep you're going to get more peak, you can work more of the peak here, uh, more development directly on the bicep, whereas the hammer curl you're going to be recruiting a lot more of your forearm here and the side of your bicep. So they both have different utility and benefits. But now we're going to break it down with a little bit more detail for those of you that want a better answer than that. So starting off with the hammer curl, there are so many different benefits. The hammer curl is the one where the arms are in a neutral grip, you're just curling all the way up and controlling all the way down. The main thing here is guys, you're going to be working your brachioradialis as well as the brachialis. So you're not just working the bicep peak, you're going to be working the muscles that run all along the forearms deep inside here. So pretty much you're gonna be working the entire arm. So if you're looking for overall arm development, this is a great go-to. So for the normal curl, you're just switching that tension from a little bit on the forearm, a little bit on the bicep, to more on the bicep and the peak. So when you supinate here, you're gonna get a little bit more of the inside bicep, and you can see when I'm squeezing up, I'm keeping tension right nice and tight on that bicep all the way down. The forearm obviously is gonna assist, but it's not assisting to the point it would in the hammer curl. So here my primary tension is on this bicep. So you need to use these for the purpose. Like Kyle said, the hammer curl, you're gonna build a big looking arm, you know? You don't just want big biceps, everything will kind of contribute to that look of a big arm. I do a lot of forearm work myself. I find like big Popeye forearms look really good. Uh, you know, you see a dude in a bigger shirt, but they got big forearms like that dude definitely lifts. So that's why I like mixing in a little bit of both of them. So you kind of have to ask yourself, what is better for me? Sometimes, you know, after a back day, I'll work in some hammer curls, something like that, get a little more form, a little bicep, and then I'll reserve like straight curls for an arm day or something different like that. So the main thing you wanna keep in mind when you're doing these is my arms nice and straight. I'm engaging from the bicep, right down at the bottom of the bicep, coming up with a big squeeze, packing it in, coming all the way down with control, and then back up. Now a big common mistake I'll see in the way people will remove tension from the bicep, obviously if that's our primary goal is to switch it to the shoulder. So when people heave like this, they're removing the tension. When they cap and hook it forward, you're switching it to the shoulder. So our goal is to be as strict as we can on that bicep, squeeze that sucker in, and the great news is we got three variations that are really gonna help you blow up those arms even more past standing basic curls. So if you really enjoy that, we got right to the point because that's what we're all about here at Colossus Fitness. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and smash the comment section below. Leave a comment if that it makes works. sense. It works. But first variation, this is something I've been doing lately and obviously because Josh was saying there's different points of tension within a bicep curl. So I do this as a burnout at the very end. So starting with, you know, 25s or 30s, you're gonna do the regular, Right here, supinated. This is obviously the toughest. Control down, okay? Once you can't go anymore, your biceps are fatigued, you switch over, you get a little bit more help from the forearms, doing hammer curls, okay? And then once you're burnt out, you can do cross body. This requires a little bit of momentum, but this will blow your biceps up. Number two, these are gonna be your best friend if you wanna build some big arms. So a lot of times people have trouble getting contraction or control with the bicep. New clients, you know, they'll say, I'm doing it, but I'm not getting that squeeze you're talking about. I'm not pumping the blood in there and blowing it up, because that's what it's all about. Your bicep's a very small muscle relative to the rest of your body, so you need to squeeze and push blood to that. That's why you can get such a crazy pump. So what I like to do, as you can see me doing here, is this an incline curl. Therefore, when I'm doing this, I remove my ability to shrug my shoulders, and I remove my ability to swing my back. So all the Tension has to be exclusively on the bicep. I can do this as a hammer curl or a normal dumbbell curl. These are absolutely disgusting. Give these a try, just drop the weight a little bit. And last but not least, if you want the best of both worlds, we're gonna do the Zotman curl. This was an extremely underrated exercise. You're gonna pick up two dumbbells, start in the supinated grip, go all the way up, twist down, pronate, control all the way down. In, in the first link in the description, we have a full tutorial how to do this. We don't wanna waste any of your time. See you in the next video, peace out.